What's going on everybody? Z here. Welcome to the studio tour, kind of. Kind of. It's kind of a setup tour. So, um, I'm just, I get questions all the time about like the stuff we're using and the stuff that we're doing to do the things and make this stuff happen. So, uh, I'm going to go through a little bit of everything. Now, I want to preface. I want to start off by saying that if you guys are like looking to starting a channel or starting a video or anything like that, this is three years worth of stuff accumulated. So, by no means think that this is the kind of stuff you need to start doing what we do. So, um, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to flip the camera around, turn the microphone around, and we're going to go through, um, well, let me just do a general overview. So, over here, this is the main computer. This is, like, the gaming, streaming computer. This is where, like, that stuff happens. This is where you see me sitting. Um, I have my green screen up here. Handy dandy Elgato green screen. Fantastic. Not, a, not, not sponsored. I wish, maybe. But, um, that's where that all this happens. Um, the streaming, the gaming, the live stuff. Uh, normally this window is never open, but for the lighting situation. Um, over here is a laptop with a monitor, a keyboard. It's a disaster, but that's where I actually edit my videos. I edit off of this laptop right here, so I'll go over kind of that stuff once we get to it. But um, rough layout, this is kind of what it looks like. I have like these uh, lamp things like this mounted everywhere, and that's like what uh, the lighting is, so you can kind of see. They're all the, the Philips Hue bulbs. So you can kind of see like, boop, turn them off, <gasps> turn them on. But um, that's normally the lighting that I use for everything, uh, except for the, the key lights that we stream with. So I'm going to flip things around and we're going to get started. So if you guys enjoy the video, thumbs up, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Uh, working on getting this second channel kind of set up and doing the things. But let me get this flip around and I'll see you in a second. All right, so we're just going to start over here with this stuff. I'm just going to go kind of like around the room-ish. Uh, this is the main computer. Um, I'll brief specs. It's a i9 9900K with a 2080 Ti Founders Edition. This is a i7 6700K with a 1080, I believe. That used to be my main computer. That's now the main computer. This is the dedicated streaming, uh, streaming and recording computer. Uh, we have boom arm for the microphone. This is a Shure SM7B because that's what everybody uses, and it's a fant fantastic microphone. That is connected into. I guess I can go ahead and sit down while I do this. Uh, that's connected into the Go XLR. That is the interface. Um, this is where everything happens. This is probably my favorite, one of my favorite pieces of equipment in this room because I used to have something completely different. And I feel like until they had the Go XLR, there was no like streaming dedicated thing. Uh, the Rodecaster stuff came out which was good for like podcasting stuff, but this is perfect for streaming. So that's fantastic. We have the uh, Stream Deck XL over here. I don't have everything filled because I haven't got to that point yet. <laughs> um, we've got the headphones that I use. I use the Astro A50s, the wireless ones. So uh, the combination of these two things, the Astro A50s and the Go XLR, the combination of those two allows me to, <clears throat> because I have two computers, that far computer, this one right here runs to these two monitors. That's one computer. This computer runs to that monitor. And the reason I have it set up like this is because it's always good to have a dedicated streaming PC, but I also have a dedicated recording PC now too. So that does all the recording. This just plays the games. This captures all the goodness. Um, but what these two allow me to do is basically I can get my audio from both computers through one set of headphones. And I can use my mic through both computers through one interface. So that's that's how that works. Now that's like a whole setup thing in itself. And if you guys are interested, I might go into like some of those settings and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's that. Uh, then we have the G915 Lightspeed, I think. Logitech 915 Lightspeed. I believe that's what it is. What's great about this keyboard is that you have profile option. So uh, this is connected through Bluetooth currently, and then this switches to the light speed, which is the little hub deal. So that allows me to switch between computers. So I can hit the button and boom, switch to that computer, hit a button, boom, switch to this one. So that's super nice. Unfortunately, I don't have a mouse for this yet. They did just release a mouse that has that capability. However, I love the G502 way too much. So this is the 502 light speed with the power play mat. Um, ooh, it's a little, little dusty there. So it's wireless, but it doesn't have to be charged, but there's a wire running here. And then the um, Logitech MX Master 2, I think? I think that's the 2. Pretty sure that's the 2. 
Um, but yeah, and then up here, this is the streaming camera. That is the Canon RF 800, I believe. And then I have it on this like little, uh, little mount thing right there. I'll probably get a different mount for that eventually. Um, because it like, if anything shakes, the whole camera shakes, so I don't really like that. So I'm probably gonna have a mount that goes to the desk. Um, and then backing up just a little bit, we have the Elgato key lights, super fantastically amazing. You can use your Elgato and boop, turn them off and on, super amazing, it's wonderful. Actually, I might just leave those on so it lights up everything better. <laughs> um, and then over here is just some like random bits and bobs, uh, little journal thing so I can take notes. Uh, I actually just got these, these, might look like PlayStation games, but they're actually coasters. They're actually coasters, so this is pretty cool. Uh, Stormtrooper helmet, planty thing. Um, all the sound dampening stuff, all that fun stuff. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, and then, hmm, yeah, there's wires everywhere underneath. I, I, I try to hide the wires on the top because like I see those, but underneath, I don't care. I just, I need it to function more than I need it to be like beautiful. Um, chair. It's a DX racer. I've had that forever. Um, that was actually one of my first purchases. And I gotta say, if you're gonna get a gaming chair, this is a fantastic chair. It still looks like perfect condition. I've had it for three years. I still use it this day. I have absolutely no issues with it, but it's very expensive. There's other options out there that I'm sure are just as good, but um, I got this, I don't know. I think my wife got it for me for like a, a Christmas present or something. I don't know. Um, dog bed. And then above dog bed, we have doggo cam. So if you guys watch the live stream, twitch.tv slash I'm giving, just saying. Um, that's where the doggo cam is. Uh, window normally closed. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, more lights. Uh, I have a TV over here. This thing it never gets used at all. Like zero usage out of this guy. Um, and then more of those lights, of course. And then over here, this is kind of a disaster, but I, it's, again, functioning, and that's what I really need. Um, this is one of my monitors. I used to run three monitors, but since I switched to the uh, two-computer setup, I switched it to two here, one ultra wide up there, and it made things better. So this one's over here now with the laptop. Um, Asus Zephyrus, I think. It's um, it's last generation. It has a 1070. It has like I think I said a, te a desktop grade 1070 in it. Um, all that fun stuff. Uh, again, I'll have I'll have links to like everything that I'm using down below and like more stuff like that. Um, this guy right here, this G13, Logitech G13 game pad or whatever, that thing is crucial for editing videos. Because, like, I have a keyboard, I have the mouse, I have all the fun stuff. This is the exact same mouse that's over on the system over there. What G502, PowerPlay Mat. It's just, I, I like I like that. It's just, it's very nice. So that's why I got another one. Uh, nothing was given. I bought all this stuff myself, like I said, over the course of three years. Uh, Corsair... MK70 Mark II, I think. I don't know. It's it's a it's a good keyboard, but it's nothing. It's nothing. It's just it's just a it's a keyboard. Um, but this thing right here, all these keys are customizable, so you can set up macros for everything. That right there saves me like cuts my editing time probably in like a quarter. Because if you guys ever edit with Premiere Pro, like uh, some of the very basic commands like cutting, like making a cut, is like Control Shift D, and then or no. Control shift D is like, is like a fade between video and the control D is a fade between audio. So I use those all the time. So it's like, it's yeah, that, that much, it's so much better. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Um, that pretty much covers that. And that, that, I mean, that covers kind of everything. I have a 3d printer gets used occasionally, not a lot. Um, the Prusa i3 Mark III S. Um, and then I think, I think that's it. I think I covered everything. I have the switch over there, but I don't use the switch a whole lot. Um, I think we used it on one video and it didn't do very well. So we're probably not gonna be doing that again. <laughs> Unfortunately, that was the uh, Link's Awakening, I think. Um, I do have, I just got my Vive reinstalled in here. So I have my little base station right here. Um, I have that, I just got it reinstalled. It used to be out in the front room, but then we uh, we got an Oculus Quest and the Quest is just so much easier because there's no base stations and everything just runs off your phone. It's super amazing. Um, but yeah, so. That's basically the setup for the most part. Now I'm gonna flip around again and do some like more talky head stuff. All right, so that's uh, that's roughly the, the setup tour right there. So uh, I'm gonna make more videos kind of like this in the future. Again, I'm playing with this, this second channel thing, seeing how things go. But um, 
that's the setup. That's what I'm using right now. Uh, as you guys know, with with a lot of setups and like people that actively use stuff every day, it's evolving. It's always changing. So it's gonna look like this for now. Actually, this side is probably gonna stay the same for the most part. We might switch out some monitors. We might be going to like uh, 4K or 1440p videos as well, like a, a additional option, you know. Um, so that might change. But as far as everything else, like editing station is probably gonna change a little bit because, like I said, that was I just did this and I was like, oh, I'm gonna use this for that. Um, so that's kind of like a new addition. That's why it's kind of like, meh, you know, but, um, yeah. So, uh, furthermore on the channel, right? This, this channel as a whole, um, if you guys want more in-depth stuff about like, say the go XLR or the stream deck or like how I do things or how the like, audio setup, let me know, leave a comment down below because there's a lot of questions when I started doing YouTube, when I started doing like gaming videos and stuff like that that I had that I came across and there was no like super easy videos on it. There was like, there's tons and tons and tons, metric tons of videos on how to start a YouTube channel, how to be a Twitch streamer, best things to use. What do you need? Like, like things like that, like super generic things. Whereas like I was trying to hook up the Shure SM7B with a Go XLR. The Shure SM7B typically needs phantom, needs more power because it's a very, it's a very power hungry microphone. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna need a cloud lifter. Well, the Go XLR doesn't need a cloud lifter and there's a lot of things that say that it does, but it, it doesn't, so I don't know why. But like little things like, oh, the specific settings that I use for this that I couldn't find. And it's like, oh, you just play with it, just play with it, just figure it out. Same with audio. It's like, well, how do you get audio from this computer to record onto this computer so you can hear it through the headphones that you're listening to, so you know, things like that. Um, so I might be doing that, but I don't think I'm gonna be doing the the typical how to make a channel thing, because I, I think those channels are different, different. I think the easiest channel to make on YouTube is, how, is a how to make channel. It's like how to make a channel, channel. So it's like, it's kind of weird. Personal opinion, personal opinion. But um, yeah, so I think we're gonna be doing some more of that, so you'll probably see more of that. You'll probably see some unboxing on this channel. You'll probably see more setup tours, more things like that. But um, I'll have everything linked down below. It's all in Amazon affiliate links, so anything you click on, and if you do buy it, it shoots a little bit back to me. You know, nothing wrong with that, right? You gotta do what you gotta do. But uh, yeah, so I've gotta get going. I got some things to do, I got some videos to finish up, and we are streaming in a little bit. So um, it's gonna be a good time, gonna be a good time. But thanks for coming out. Appreciate you coming over here. Uh, if you came for the main channel, awesome. If you didn't, if you somehow stumbled upon this channel as your first channel, awesome. I have a main channel that I make gaming videos, so I kind of hopefully know-ish what I'm doing, but you know, I like to run into things head first and not figure it out beforehand until, you know, we're there. So thank you guys so much for coming out. Hopefully you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.